end of the meeting instead of at the beginning. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Mike, check. Mike, Mike check. check. Mike, check. Mike, check. With a couple of exceptions, the San Francisco Employee Retirement System, Retirement Board Commissioners and Staff have for six months tried to block an open dialogue and discussion of the FERS social investment policy towards banks engaged in discriminatory lending. For that reason, we are here today to stage a magical, what? transformational what? <laughs> intervention. Ooh. I'm Joseph Driscoll. I pushed Jay Hewish to cancel any special meetings and to stop all of this public comment on the social investment policy nonsense. I tried to ignore it when Wells Fargo evicted disabled city retiree Bernetta Adolph from her home, but somehow it struck a chord. I remember when I first joined the San Francisco Fire Department. I was so proud of our mission to save people's lives and their homes. I realized that the plan members and supporters who keep coming back month after month to our meetings are trying to do the same thing. I thought they were misguided because really, what could we do as, as FERS commissioners to keep these people in their homes? But then I realized that city employees and retirees should have a say in how their own pensions are invested. I realized that shifting our investments while keeping a firm hand on the bottom line could have an impact on the discriminatory lending practices of the banks. You should. I took the time to read through the U.S. Department of Justice charges against Wells Fargo and Bank of America. I was, I, I was shocked by the disparity in loans offered by race. Intended or not, it's time for the banks to correct their policies. And as a personal penance for my anti-democratic activities, urging cancellation of the special meeting and moving the public comment period to the end, I'm going to withdraw as a candidate for president of the Spurs Retirement Board in today's election. I'm a Victor Markers. I work in the real estate and I make good money at it. I have realized that we can good, make good profit and still have some good compassion for those who are down on their luck, especially through no fault of their own. I have played the political game for a long time and I'm glad to stop. The whole maneuver to avoid rescuing myself, even though I hold the bank stock was pretty sneaky. And I don't even begin to disclose how many of my involvement in the real estate industry would present conflict for a purse decision related to the bank mortgage lending policy. Wells Fargo brought out so many executives and nonprofit partner, so protest they are innocent to broadcast all the wonderful things they do for the community. But they fail completely to counter the charge brought by the U.S. Department of Justice and other government agency about their discriminatory lending practice. If their practice are unintentional, even even more important that we are active our social investment policy to make sure they won't continue illegal, predatory, and discriminatory lending. Yeah. Ta -ta. Victor, very yeah. well stated, Victor. Yeah. Thank, you, Victor. Yeah. Thank you, Victor. Thank you very much. Well Thank you. I'm Brian Stansberry. Did you know that I'm a refugee from the economic downturn caused by Wall Street? I went to the police academy to escape the economic crisis. When I graduated, the city wasn't sure they could hire all of my graduating class. But they made an effort to come up with the funds and I squeezed through to get a job. So many others lost their jobs and couldn't find work. Many of them lost their homes. It could have been me. 
I understand now that the banks caused the economic price crisis through overly speculative investment practices and predatory and discriminatory lending. I understand now that the SPURS fund lost billions and that led to many city employees losing jobs or benefits. I understand now how the banks hurt our plan members and all the taxpayers in San Francisco and beyond. Special investment policies aren't just a sop to left-wing nutcases. They are important to maintaining a healthy economy and a vibrant democracy. Wonderful yes. conversion, Brian. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Glad to see that. Thank you. Very good. I am Brenda Wright. Ooh. My early days of civil rights activism have caught back up to me now. Uh -oh. I realize that my struggles to survive in a greedy dog-eat-dog -dog world have made it difficult for me to have compassion for others who are suffering. I'm sorry if I hear that. It's hardest to admit that my role in community relations at Wells Fargo may have contributed to the problem with discriminatory foreclosures and evictions right here in the Bay Area. Right on, Brenda. I pledge to have more compassion for Wells Fargo mortgage holders. I realize now that the bank could have done better in keeping people in their homes and I'll work harder to make that happen. I know now that everyone deserves to have a safe and secure home. It yes. is a basic yes. human right. Yes. yes. If Wells Fargo won't do the right thing by its customers, damn, well, get them out of then here. I'll quit and help her clean up the mess that we've created. Oh, wonderful, Brenda. Thank you so much. Thanks, Brenda. Terrific change, Brenda. I'm Wendy Paskin-Jordan. Even Hi, though Wendy. I'm right. a Hi, former Wendy. Wells Fargo employee, I've secretly supported Spurs' engagement with the battle on discrimination, leading, lending from when our plan members first proposed the idea. In fact, I've sold off all my bank stock so I can participate in the vote without any conflict of interest. I believe we should listen to current and retired city employees about how the banks have impacted their lives. I believe our social investment policy is there for a reason. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Good, Wendy. I'm Malia Cohen. I face the bank foreclosure, so I get it. But as a supervisor, I have the mayor and Wells Fargo rep executives subtly or directly threatening funding for the folks in my neighborhood if I don't if I don't toe the line. What? Uh, what? That kind of politics is probably why I felt so sick and couldn't make it the day I had agreed to come and support discussion of the level one and level two motions on discriminatory lending. Oh. Wow. I requested a special meeting on May 29th to have an open dialogue on the issue, but I didn't feel I could stand up to executives. Director Hewish when he canceled the meeting. You're darn right. Yeah. Remember that, you. I went to get. I, I want to get along well with the other commissioners, so I'm glad to see they have come around. I know engaging the banks on their discriminatory lending is the right thing to do. No. All we are doing is asking the banks to obey the law and do their best to keep our plan members and neighbors in their homes. All right. Thanks, Felicia. That's what we're voting for. Yeah. yeah. Incredible. Incredible. I'm Jay Hewish. I'm your executive director. Oh, hi, Jay. Uh, hey, call me Sir. Oh, sorry. Sir Jay. Let's be clear about who runs things around here. Okay. Yes. I want to apologize for canceling the May 29th special meeting on SFRS social investment policy regarding discriminatory lending. I want to apologize for, despite the fact that two of my commissioners asked to have that meeting on the 29th, and our policies state that one commissioner's request is sufficient. I want to apologize for shifting public comment to the end of the meeting for the first time in years. I realize now that both of these actions are anti-democratic and stifle the free and open debate of the issues we at well, first. We do way better than the Chinese government. Come on, move on. I believe it's important to make the best decisions for our plan members and the public. I also apologize for failing to provide the evidence of discriminatory lending practices of Wells Fargo and Bank of America, among other banks wouldn't be hard seeing as the Justice Department has it easily handy and many community people have presented to me. That evidence is crucial for the commissioners that, to have when considering the level one and level two motions. So I now recommend wholeheartedly that the retirement board support the level one and level two motions regarding discriminatory bank lending.
Yeah. All this thank you, sir. Magical transformation makes it possible for me to be two people at the same time. Uh, oh, it's that tall, handsome guy. <laughs> I'm Herb Myberger. All this magical transformation has turned me into an Ayn Rand fan. No, just kidding. <laughs> I still support the level. I still support the level one motion for shareholder voting on discriminatory lending practices of the banks and certain gov corporate governance issues, like separation of corporate CEO and president positions. I still support the level two motion for a dialogue with the banks about their practices regarding discriminatory lending. And if banks like Wells Fargo and Bank of America won't obey the law and continue to engage in discriminatory lending after engagement at level one and level two, then I think we should consider level three divestment according to our social investment policy. Yay! Oops. <laughs> okay, sorry, I've still got to be heard for a second. Um, I'd like to, uh, Madam President, I'd like to propose a motion to pass level one and level two of SPURS social investment policy regarding discriminatory lending by the banks. I second the motion. Do you want to check and see if the executive director approves? By the way, I do. Go ahead and pass it. We have a motion in a second. Any discussion? It's okay to talk about it. Go ahead, kids. A any public comment? Okay. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. It's unanimous. It's unanimous. Spurs will apply level one and level two of its social investment policy to Wells Fargo, Bank of America, J.P. Morgan Chase, and the other banks engaged in illegal, discriminatory, and predatory lending practices. Yay!